The Queens County Drug Free Coalition, with additional support by Queens County Commissioners and the Queens County Sheriff, alongside with multiple other services, are having a town hall meeting at the middle school. I had a chance to visit the Drug Free Coalition during their most recent meeting and speak with Commissioner Jim Moran about the event. And as you know, there's, there's no stronger voice in any organization than a volunteer. And these are all volunteers and they're out here because they care. And to me, that speaks volumes. I happen to be the liaison from the, from the commissioner's office. So we're gonna have on Thursday night, the 12th, we're gonna have Lance Richardson with the state's attorney, the sheriff's office. We're gonna have Tim McDonald from the, the former Centerville Barracks commander who's gonna be here. He's gonna be talking about an incident that happened to him personally when it comes to heroin. We're also going to be talking to uh, Assistant Chief Scott Wheatley, Joe Grabus with the Cu Juvenile uh, Services, Timothy Dove with the Local Addictions Authority, and Mary Bourbon, a nurse practitioner. Those people will be speaking, but we will also have 30 different vendors here set up from everything from counseling to addiction to grief. And uh, you know, one of the bigger things that we're going to have are we're going to have a couple parents who have lost loved ones speaking about what happened in their lives and one of them even has a, a sister that's going to talk. So, I mean, uh, not my child, think again, is important. So now we're in the Stevensville Auditorium, and this is where the meeting is going to be held. And this is where we're actually going to start the meeting, right here in the middle of the floor. We're going to have over 200 chairs set up uh, with the bleachers. We're going to have a trailer that's made up like a bedroom. Parents are going to be able to go through there and look at where paraphernalia and drugs could be hidden, maybe something to give them some ideas, you know, to watch on their, over their kids. But the reason I brought you into the auditorium is because behind me is the bleachers. Those bleachers hold 451 students. This entire auditorium holds 950 students and faculty. We've lost that many to heroin in just a half a year in the state of Maryland. So I want you to look at those bleachers and imagine friends and relatives that should be here today that are no longer here. It's worth it for you to come out, hear what's going on, hear what's, what's happening in our community. You know, I, I, I helped the, the Drug Free Coalition put the signs up everywhere you see those that have overdoses and deaths. I will tell you that those deaths are not exaggerated. As a matter of fact, they're probably closer to double that number, but we can't count those individuals until we have a coroner's report. So for anybody that thinks that we don't have a problem in Queen Anne's County, we have just as much problem in Queen Anne's County as we do in the entire state. So as I sit in this empty auditorium, I sure wish it was full of those thousand plus people that have already perished. So join us at the Stevensville Middle School. The doors are going to open up at 6, the program begins at 7. And just because you think it's not my child, maybe it's time to think again.